Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel, John Wilson here and in today's video I'm going to do an unboxing! So, I have a PO Box on my website, I have it on my YouTube channel and um, I am very, very, very gracious to have received a lovely package from one of my subscribers slash friends, um, Christine Hall from New Zealand. Christine has literally put together a haul in this big giant box. It weighs an absolute ton and she's had it shipped all the way to Scotland for me from New Zealand and I am going to open up the contents of this very very heavy big box. I'm trying to like cover addresses so that I don't inadvertently give you um, Christine's address. So this box I'm going to pop just here. It's a really heavy box and I'm going to use my trusty cuticle pusher to get into this box. Now, because it's been shipped from New Zealand, she did have to put a packing slip on it and it was like a customs thing and it's got the weight and everything else here and um, she's kind of put a bit of a sneak peek of what might be in this box. She has listed stationery and home decor, confectionery, I love confectionery. Hopefully, that is code for chocolate because listen, I know in New Zealand you guys get bomb chocolate, so I'm so excited to get into this box and some soft toys. So, Christine does have an Etsy shop, so there may very well be some products that she sells on her Etsy store in here. I don't know. Let's get into this box and find out. So, cuticle pusher at ready. Sorry, this is really gross, I know, but I have not pushed my own cuticles. And any time I use a cuticle pusher on anybody else, they are obviously sterilised after each use. And it's being used now for opening a box, so get over it. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's Tuesday today. I've had quite a good day at work. The weather is brightening up, so... I always find my mood improves greatly um, at this time of year. So I woke up today in the best mood ever and got a notification that this little package was delivered. So excuse me just staring at the box while I try and get into it. I have to say, Christine, baby doll, you managed to secure this box really well. Hello. Um... I'm almost there. It's like surgical precision. That's why Paul is going to be the surgeon and not me. Obviously, that's the reason why. That and the fact that he has all the brains. Right, so we're into this box, which is really exciting. I'm just going to... Whoa! Can you see that box? It literally has everything in it. Like, ah, uh, so... Amazing. I'm so excited to get into this box. Right, how are we going to do this here? Shall I just sit this box on my knee and I will pop you down. I just want to say hi on my little board to Vanessa and Laura. They have joined our forum at hellojohn.co.uk. I'll just pop the box here and then I can sit each item here as I get it. Um, if you're interested in joining the forum, it is free. Um, there is a beauty section on the forum. There is um, a part where we get to talk about my videos on the forum, some YouTube gossip, and the rest, hellojohn.co.uk. I'll leave the link below. But now, let's get into this box. So, I'm actually so excited. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I am. We have here... Like, there are lots of chocolate in here, I have to say. Whitaker's Dark Orange Chocolate. We don't have Whitaker's in the UK, so this is really interesting. Because Christine and I speak, she takes photos of things, and like, a lot of this stuff I've never seen. So, I will do a separate video where we do taste testing. I'll get Paul in on that too. Um... So we'll taste test some of the goodies that she sent. So we have some dark chocolate. Um, I think this is like solid chocolate. It's 50% cocoa and there are 12 mini slabs in there. Thank you. I'm going to have to like <clears throat> say thank you after everything that I look at 
because I'm literally so excited. Wow. So, I did mention Christine in my last video. My last unboxing was the typo items, and it was Christine that introduced me to typo, and she has got me some letters <coughs> for my light box. So, that's awesome. You guys will be getting a mention with some of these letters, which is pretty cool. I, honestly, I've taken out two things and it's not made a dent. We might be here for a while, so make sure you have a hot drink. I don't mind if you pause me. So, we have here tweets. Ah, oh, okay. So, milk chocolate with popping candy. And they feel like birds maybe or like you feel like their shapes inside here so good so 12 mini slabs again of this chocolate which is quite nice I'm quite excited Paul is going to be so jealous when he sees all this stuff and he wasn't here at the unboxing Paul likes a present we have marshmallow eggs so we're very much into the Easter theme Easter has just been but um, it's Cadbury. We don't have these in the UK, I don't think. I've never seen them. They are hokey pokey flavoured marshmallow eggs covered in Cadbury's milk chocolate. Now, we do have hokey pokey in Scotland. And hokey pokey is literally, you put your left leg in, your left leg out, in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey and you turn around. Do you have that? You know what I'm talking about, right? Sorry. Sorry. Apologies. But... That's what we call Hokey Pokey here. But I have a feeling that Hokey Pokey might be something different in New Zealand. Now, listen. These, apparently, are bomb. Christine has sent these to a few of my friends. Um, one in particular, Brandy, who talks about pineapple lumps. And she says they are literally the best sweets ever and to be honest like I don't even want to wait for the taste test I just want to get in here and try one of these do you mind sorry I'm being rude smell it smells awesome oh so oh now this is not what I thought it was going to be it is very good but it's like, um, if you're in the UK, like a um, Starburst, I want you to call them Opal Fruits, that's what they used to be called. Um, so it's like um, a chewy toffee flavoured with pineapple and covered in chocolate. Oh my gosh. I wish you could taste it. So good. So I'm going to be really rude and I'm going to talk with my mouth full. Perky Nana. Banana flavoured chew bar. Now, synthetic bananas is one of my favourite fruits ever. Literally. You know those little foam bananas that you get? Anything banana flavoured, banana milkshake, boom. That's my jam. I love synthetic banana. So, I'm really excited about trying this. Perky Nana. Mmm. And there are two. So, I think um, one might be for Paul, but Paul can taste the Perky Nana. He's not getting any Perky Nana. I'm only joking. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be horrible to Paul and withhold any of Paul's um, Perky Nana, but I might. What did we open next? Pineapple lumps, marshmallow eggs. So it's more pineapple lumps, but this feels softer. Sorry, I have to. Like, I will do a tasting video for you, but I just want to get into this because this is softer and the other pineapple lumps was so good. Look at that. Is that two stuck together? Is it? Or is it one? Oh, so good. I wish I could deliver the flavour of pineapple lumps to you. They're so good. So good. I like it. What will we go for next? We have L&P, lemon and P. 
Paiora. Paiora. Pe. Piroa. Piroa? That must be a New Zealand thing, like we don't have that here. So what is Piroa? Hmm. I can't decide what that might be. Um, it has flavoured cream, lemon fruit pieces. Um, I don't know what Piroa... I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. Piroa. I'm going to say Piroa. Sorry, I keep saying that word. I don't know what it means, but... I'm quite excited to um, try this. It's a limited edition biscuit and I am very, very excited to find out what that flavour is. Yum! We have more um, LMP, the mini slabs from Whitaker's, lemon and Piroa, Pyroa. I don't know, if somebody could help me out with that word, that would be amazing. So, white chocolate in these little slabs, so good. Look at that stash of chocolate. It's just been Easter. Literally, I'm spoiled, so spoiled. So, ah, Christine has offered to make me a blanket. I will do the opening when it's been sent. Um, she's in the middle of making it at the minute but it's going to be made up of squares like that. She's really into crochet and, excuse me, I'm not going to give you the theme just yet, but there is a theme and this is the blanket. And you know, I'm going to open this and do something really weird, but I'm going to smell in because sometimes when people send you like goods, you get a feeling for like where they live and what the smell is like, and but it doesn't smell like anything. Christine, you've not given any, any clues as to what your life is like in New Zealand on this tiny little bit of blanket. I know that she has a dog, and I know that she says the dog is a fan of the blanket that she's making, and she has to keep telling the dog to get off the blanket, but never mind, that's another story. We have some banana flavoured M&Ms, so the banana gods are definitely looking down on me today. I'm really excited to try these. As I say, I love bananas. I love M&Ms and it says you can't resist. This is very true. We do not have these in the UK. Um, I don't know whether you get them in the, the rest of the world. I don't know if you get banana flavoured M&Ms. I've seen M&Ms in the States when I've been there, but I've never seen banana flavoured. So I'm really excited to try those because you guys know, you already know, I love bananas. So, ah, uh, okay, okie dokie, right, so, hokey pokey, we have hokey pokey in the UK, this crunchy bar, I don't know whether you have this in America, but it's like honeycomb centre with chocolate, we have crunchy, but you guys have called it hokey pokey, honeycomb covered in delicious Cadbury milk chocolate, so hokey pokey we do have in the UK, um, because we have it inside a crunchy, but I'm really excited to try this. Maybe it'll taste different because it's from New Zealand and you guys have your own type of um, honeycomb, of which you've sent me this gorgeous little bag. It looks like it's been made really fresh, which is nice. So um, I'm so excited to try this out. Hokey pokey, plain um, honeycomb. So I'm really excited to try this. It looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for getting me that. It's literally a box of all my favorite things. Now, I love a snack, so I'm so excited. We have these um, things called pods. So it says, you're probably only reading this because you had a bad lucky dip experience as a kid, aren't you? Probably pulled out something like a key ring and had no keys to put it on. Well, this is for you then. Mr or Mrs, I'm scared of the lucky dip. This is what it's like to eat pods. You put one in your mouth and suddenly notice the crispy lightness of the wafer. So it's a wafer and the creamy chocolate soon fills your mouth. So it's a wafer with chocolate and gooey cream, which I imagine, yes, it's Snickers cream. So Snickers bar, melted soft, 
in a wafer. So I am so excited to try these pods. We don't have those in the UK, but we do have Snickers in the UK. So it's interesting that I'm seeing some similarities in what we might have here and what you guys have in New Zealand. I always love it when I go to the States because I get to try something new. Oh, now this is nice. Look at the Manuka honey creams. Now, Paul and I do take Manuka honey. Paul's mum um, is a huge advocate of the medicinal properties of Manuka honey. So we do take it. We take um, like a teaspoonful a day. But here we have it lovingly wrapped in chocolate. So Manuki Honey Creams, I'm so excited to try this. Um, it's foil wrapped milk chocolates. I, I don't think there's a flavour to this, it is literally just the honey. So this will be delicious. I do love me some Manuka Honey, I have to say. And then we have another box, uh, which has Fate. Fioa, Fioa chocolates, Fioa, and it has like a, it looks like a lime to me, I don't actually know what that is, so I think it has real Fioa, I, is this some kind of test that you set me up Christine, have you just made up a bunch of words and popped them on the boxes to see how a Scottish boy pronounces that, but anyway, <laughs> Um, I've never heard of this. I'm really excited to try this out and we will do the taste test very, very soon for you guys. We need to get Paul in on this. Maybe he's heard of this. Um, I presume it's a fruit, um, but I have never heard of that. So I'm excited to try it. We have Tip Top Jelly Top Tip Block. So Jelly tip, she did explain what a jelly tip was to me during a WhatsApp conversation. Jelly tip is like an ice lolly, I think. So this block here, and this block is like, look, hello, New Zealand. This block of chocolate is the size of my head. It is so heavy and it looks amazing. So it's a limited edition um, block of chocolates, raspberry flavored jelly and white and milk chocolate. That looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait. To try it and look at this little guy here on the back he has a jelly head so I'm really excited to try that I guess Whitaker's is like um, Cadbury is here or Mars um, because there's a lot of Whitaker's chocolate in here um, we have tiramisu Kit Kat now I love me some Kit Kat this feels like one big giant Kit Kat, lots of fingers on it, tiramisu flavoured, it's a jewel, I can see that it's cut down the middle, so I think it has like um, milk chocolate and then white chocolate, so I'm really excited to try this out and um, get into that for you. We have another one, Raspberry Cheesecake Jewel Kit Kat, again down the middle, I think it has raspberry on one side, it looks like white chocolate in the other and maybe um, white chocolate. So that looks like it's going to be really, really delicious. I love me some Kit Kat. We do have those here, but I have seen other YouTube videos where there are lots and lots of different flavours and we do not have lots and lots of different flavoured Kit Kats here in the UK. We have Milk Caramel. Now, caramel is one of my favourite flavours in the world. If you ever go to McDonald's and have like a caramel sundae, any kind of caramel sauce, I am right in there. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to try this out. And here's this guy, Mr. Whitaker again, the founder of this chocolate maker. Um, look at the size of this chocolate, you guys. Hello, can you see me? No, you can't. No, you can't. It is huge, it's massive. So I'm really excited to try this. Christine, you have been so generous. I have to be honest though, I'm really glad that I work in health and fitness because I'm gonna to need to teach a few aerobics classes and a few steps classes to work this chocolate off. So we have here, we had a joke about this, wood in hand. So this is also from Typo, I think. Um, it's just literally a wooden, <laughs> a, wooden, a wooden hand that's like, I don't know, if you're a YouTuber that likes expensive things, you could beg 
using it. If you're a YouTuber that's into cosmetics but is not a beauty guru, you could put your lip salve on with it. I love you so much. Or if you're just like a sassy queen from Scotland, you could just get like full on rude. I don't know. I don't know. We'll decide what we're doing with that. But <laughs> thank you for this hand. It's definitely going on my shelf. We're going to use it um, in future videos to make gang signs or whatever. But we'll put him there for now. In fact, we'll put him beside this Buddha for now. <laughs> thank you, Christine. I love you so much. Oh! Right. So funny. She has given me this little key ring and it says, you so did not wake up like that. <laughs> Which is true because Starbucks is life. If you're on my social networks, Twitter, Snapchat or Insta, it's just pictures of me drowning my sorrows with Starbucks. So that's going straight on to my filming room keys because I love it. And I just knew, I knew that she was going to give me um, some of these poos. So Christine has an Etsy store. I will link it down below. She makes these wonderful little emoji poos. I learned something really interesting though. You know the little emoji poo that you have on the um, iPhone? This will blow your mind. Apparently it's not a poo. Apparently it's chocolate ice cream. So this is either a, a poo or a chocolate ice cream. You decide. <laughs> you decide. So we have our chocolate ice cream that she's made all by hand or ta -da! strawberry ice cream. This is so cute. Look at those little eyes you guys and the little mouth. And it's sparkly as well. Christy makes these and she sells them on her Etsy store. I will leave the links in the description box down below. Make sure you support her. It's always amazing when people um, create things and craft things. Um, so I know that she'll appreciate you having a look. We have now peanut butter Whitakers. Honestly, like I'm just going to film every video like this from now on. I don't even know if you can hear me when I'm behind the chocolate, but Look at the size of that. Whoop. I wish I, you could feel it. I love peanut butter. It's like Christy knows me. She's got me all the things that I really, really like. Um, from my synthetic banana to my manuka honey. You'd be good at picking Christmas presents, Christine. Then we have chili pepper spice chocolate. So this is the artisan collection from Whitaker's. And um, it looks hot, I have to be honest. It's made from Ka Kaitea fire chilli pepper sauce. Oh my word. You, you guys in New Zealand have complicated words. Kaitea fire chilli pepper sauce. So I cannot wait to try that. I'm not going to tell Paul though. This is our secret, right? I will not tell him that there's a chilli chocolate in here. I'll just give him a taste test and tell him it's Manuka honey. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Then we have Wellington Roasted Supreme Coffee. Now, I love me some coffee. This is dark chocolate, 50% cocoa. I am so excited to try this out. I'm absolutely delicious looking. So, yummers. I'm well excited about that. And we've managed to get to the bottom of the chocolate, which is impressive. We have Waikato Growing aromatic oolong tea. Now, as much as I love coffee, I also really love tea. So, <clears throat> this is going to be so good. I try and have tea at night time and coffee in the morning. So, I really love the smell of oolong tea. Can you smell it? Oh, I can smell it. It's so nice. I love the smell of chocolate. I love the smell of coffee. I love the smell of tea. I'm feeling this room right now. It's filling up with some lovely aromas and I am, um, I feel so lucky. I can't believe that you've done this for me. It's amazing. And then we have <laughs> this little beagle. So cute. I call my dog 3K so I can say I walk 3K every day. How cute. 
That is so cute. Now, that's a beagle puppy. It looks like my little girl beagle called Piper. And I just love it. So, there is a little um, bit in here. Now, she's included some papers and some drawings. Now, I know that her son um, has been looking to draw me some stuff. So, I'm just going to have a look at this here. Look! How cute. I'm going to have a drawing wall because anybody that wants to draw me pictures and spend time doing that, I would frame every single one and make sure it has a place on my wall because that is so cool. I feel so blessed and it is the poos, the, or the chocolate ice cream and the strawberry ice cream or the brown poopy poop and the pink poopy poop. You decide. I don't know. And then we have this cute little thing here. Look, it says kiwi. The kiwi is a tiny bird that can't fly and burrows in the ground. It has hair-like feathers and long whiskers. Kiwis use a great sense of smell to find danger in food. Kiwis like to eat worms, insects and fruit that falls from trees. Colour me brown, black and peach. Some kiwis have tiny spots. So thank you so much, Christine, for all the lovely gifts from you and your husband and your little boy. I so appreciate it. And don't you worry, I'm looking out for some Scottish treats. We will get them to you because... We know how to treat you in Scotland. There is a card in here. I'm just going to um, let you have a look at the um, front cover. And it says, Choices, because jandals and togs, sweet as rattle your dags, just heading down to the dairy, knackered chur bro, let's go on a tiki tour, far out. Now listen, <laughs> listen. Listen, this is, is this New Zealand words or is this Australian? I'm going to try reading it in an accent. Choice cuz, jandals and togs, sweet as, rattle your dangs, just heading down to the dairy, knackered, chur bro, let's go on a tiki tour, far out. Listen, I've probably just offended every Australian, every New Zealander, every <laughs> Every Kiwi that is watching this, I apologise. Listen, I never said I was good at accents. Never said I was good at accents. And in this card it says, Happy birthday, John. It is my birthday at the end of April. I am so excited by the haul that I have here. You've gone to so much effort. Thank you very, very much. Um, I have said on my website, if anybody sends me any Hello John mail, I would be very, very appreciative, even if it's just a letter or a picture that you've drawn. I will open it on camera and say thank you very much, obviously. Thank you so much, Christine, for the effort. Do make sure that you head on to my forum at hellojohn.co.uk. I'm going to take individual snaps of everything that you've just seen open tonight and pop it all on the forum for you to have a good look at. You will find me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. The links are in the description box down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure that you watch one of my other videos. Have an amazing day. Bye.